Let's have a look at some divine questions today where the first digit of the numerator is not less than the denominator. Let's take a simple example first. 22 divided by 2. Make 22 on the left side of the abacus and 2 on the right side of the abacus. Now in this case, the first digit of the numerator is 2, which is equal to the denominator, which is also 2. So instead of thinking about 22, we will only think about the first digit of the numerator, which is 2. We know that 2 times 1 is 2. So we will make 1 in the middle and we'll subtract 2 from the left side of the abacus. After subtracting 2, we still have another 2 on the abacus on the left side. So again, you will think of your timetable of 2 until you get 2. So we know again that 2 times 1 is 2. Now, notice that this time, where do we make this 1? Remember, when you solve again, in the case of division, the next answer goes on the rod which is next to the 1's place. So we'll make 1 here. So 2 times 1 again gives us 2. So we need to subtract that 2 as well. And we are left with nothing on the left side. Our answer is in the middle which is 11. 96 divided by 2. Make numerator on the left side and denominator on the right side. Now notice again that the first digit of the numerator is greater than the denominator. So you will not think about 96, rather you will only think of 9. So think of your timetable of 2 until you get 9 or less. We know that 2 times 4 is 8, whereas 2 times 5 is 10. We cannot take 10 as it is greater than 9. So think of 2 times 4 is 8. We'll make 4 in the middle and the answer for 2 times 4, which is 8, we will subtract it from the left side of the abacus. Now we are left with 16. Again, think of your timetable of 2 until you get 16. We know that 2 times 8 is 16. So we'll make 8 in the middle after the 1's place. And we need to subtract the answer for 2 times 8, which is 16, from the left side of the abacus. Nothing is left. So our question has been fully resolved and our answer is in the middle which is 48. 85 divided by 5. Make numerator on the left side and denominator on the right side. Now again, the first digit of the numerator is greater than the denominator. So only think about 8. Think of your timetable of 5 until you get 8 or less. We know that 5 times 5, 1 is 5, whereas 5 times 2 is 10. So we cannot take 5 times 2. We'll go back to 5 times 1. So we'll make 1 in the middle. And we'll subtract the answer for 5 times 1, which is 5, from the left side of the abacus. Now we are left with 35 on the left side of the abacus. So again, think of your timetable of 5 until you get 35. We know that 5 times 7 is 35. So we'll make 7. Remember where to make 7? On the rod next to the 1's place. Not on the 10's place rod, which we usually use. It is on the other side of the 1's place. So 5 times 7 is 35. So answer for 5 times 7 will be subtracted from the left side. We are left with nothing. Answer is in the middle, which is 17. 91 divided by 7. Numerator on the left side, denominator on the right side. Again, 9 is greater than 7, so we will only look at 9. 7 times 1 is 7, whereas 7 times 2 is 14. So we cannot take 7 times 2. We will go back to 7 times 1. So 7 times 1 is 7. We will make 1 in the middle and subtract 7 from the left side of the abacus. We are left with 21 here. Again, think of your timetable of 7 until you get 21 or less. We know that 7 times 3 is 21. We'll make 3 in the middle and subtract 21 from the left side of the abacus. Nothing is left. 
So our answer is in the middle, which is 13. 155 divided by 5. Numerator on the left side, denominator on the right side. Now notice that the first digit of the numerator is 1. So we cannot solve that. So we'll think of 15 rather. And we'll say our timetable of 5 until we get 15 or less. 5 times 3 gives us 15. So we'll make 3 in the middle and subtract 15 from the left side. But still we have 5 left here. So again think of your timetable of 5. Until you get 5. So 5 times 1 is 5. We'll make that in the middle and subtract the answer for 5 times 1 from the left side. Answer is in the middle 31. 1, 1, 4 divided by 3. Numerator on the left side, denominator on the right side. Again, in this question, 1 is smaller than 3. We cannot solve it. So we'll consider 11 instead of 1. And we'll say our timetable of 3 until we get 11 or less. We know that 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 4 is 12. So we'll stick to our question, which is 3 times 3. 3 times 3, we'll go in the middle. And the answer for 3 times 3, which is 9, we need to subtract from the left side. So using the formulas that we already know, we'll subtract 9. We're left with 24 on the left side. Again, think of your timetable of 3 until you get 24. 3 times 8 gives you 24. So, we'll subtract that from the left side. The, nothing is left on the left side of the abacus. And answer is in the middle, which is 38.